Hello and welcome. My name is Emmanuel Eyaba and I'm super super excited having all of you here this time around. If you've not subscribed to the channel, I urge you right now to go to the uh, subscription button, click it, comment, like and share. And if there's just any video you want us to talk about on this channel, let us know and guess what? We will talk about it. We'll be looking at some very tough life decisions that when you take and you implement, it will make your life a better place. So, if you've not subscribed to the channel, quickly subscribe, comment, like, and share. So, today we will be looking at the significance of ant hills. The significance of ant hills. Now, how many of you know what ant hills are? You know, there's these, um, you know, back in the days, you know, when you're in the village, you see this eating things that are molded, you know. And they are kind of like they are more like mountains, no more like hills, but very small hills and mountains. And those things are actually being constructed by ants. You know, ants have a way of building those molds you see, and um, they can add a lot of uh, beauty. And um, yeah, they are very very beautiful and fine. So there is a significance about ant hills, and um, that is what we will be looking at in this video. Now. And hills are a symbol of industry, unity, and divine connection. Mm. And hills are a symbol of industry, unity, and divine connection. You know, ants are being uh, classified as the most organized animals in the world. They are so organized because they have a way of transporting things. And there's this, you know, um, what's the right word now? There's this way they have a way of living amongst themselves you know so unified in such a way that once they move like this to do something they always have a way of achieving it you know so and hills those intricate rounds created by industrious ants hold symbolic significance in various cultures spiritual traditions here are some of the key interpretations now there are a lot of interpretations about ant hills and guess what they are they differ according to um geographical locations according to cultures according to traditions according to ethnicity they all have different different symbols one of the symbols of ant hills is symbol of industry and efficiency just as i said before Ants are very, very efficient and industrious. And once they, if, if, if you notice the path, you know, for those of you who have lived in the village, they have always have a path how they work, how they do things, you know. And there are also different, different kind of ants. We have the soldiers, we have the workers, we have the queens, we have the kings and everything. Well, I'm not diving into that now. Now, one of the symbols of, um, one of the, symbol of ant hills is um, uneasy labor. Ants are renowned for their tireless work ethic, their ability to construct complex structures, gather food and care for their young selves serves as a metaphor for human industriousness and perseverance. Guess what? These ants don't even go to school. They are, they're, they're not going to school. They don't even have any training. They don't even have any very um, sophisticated uh, equipment for working but guess what they have a way of constructing those big ant hills that you see that some people even keep them as artifacts and as monuments you know so these are the kind of um uneasy level that ants have and i think it's something uh, worth emulating as human beings we should find a way to emulate these ant hills how they you know get things done with ease you know with no stress at all just with so much ease they get things done now ants are also have an organized society of living the intricate organization within an anthill with specific roles for each member reflects the importance of social structure and cooperation there is this cooperation ants always have if you see where ants are working, you know, where they're traveling, where they go to hunt for food or they go to uh, get materials for construction, there's always a systematic way, well-structured way that they move from point A 
to point Z. That is one of the things that makes them very, very organized. That is one of the things that makes them very, very strategic. That is one of the things that makes them very, very composed and efficient. Now, anthills are also a symbol of unity and community. Collective effort. The construction of an anthill is a collective effort demonstrating the power of working together towards a common goal. Interconnectedness. The intricate network of tunnels within an anthill symbolizes the interconnectedness of all beings and the importance of maintaining harmony within a community. You see, there's this harmonious way ants do things. There's this harmonious way they get things done. There's this harmonious way they construct. There's this harmonious way they work. There's an harmonious way. They just have a way of making things happen that even human beings can't even comprehend and understand. Symbolism, symbols of divine connection, manifestation of the divine. In some cultures, and hills are considered sacred and are believed to be many manifestations of divine energy of spirit. There are places where and hills are being worshipped. Yes, they have places where they worship them. There are places where they revere them. There are places where they are a source of strength, hope, and understanding. You go to some places where they perform um, sacrifices. Where they perform such sacrifices are always around and hills. Oracle and divination. In certain traditions, and hills are used for divination and seeking guidance from higher powers. This is Africa. We are Africans. And whether you like it or not, we believe that there is somewhere, a, where there is a stronger force where we tap our strength from. That is a belief. Whether you like it or not, we Africans always believe in it. And we know that of a truth, there is a source of power somewhere that when we get connected to, there is every tendency that you can have solutions to your problems. Yes. Now, don't forget, in the African context, we used to have gods we believe in. Before the advent of the white man, we believed that there was a god somewhere. And it, it had to do with the different ethnicities. The Igbos had what they believed in. The Yorubas had what they believed in. The Hausas, even the Northerners, everyone has what they believed in. But when the white people came, they made us to understand that, okay, all of this is not good. It's their own and it's actually the best. Whether we like it or not, we were all connected to the one source that is Baba Gode. We were all connected. We had our own different ways of going through. Africans were never atheists. No, we never atheists. We believe that there was one God or there is one God. But what matters is how do you get there? That was how the white people, westernization came and changed everything. So everybody now just needs to know that you need to pass through the Lord Jesus Christ to the Almighty God. Well, we're not, about, we're not here to talk about that one. What we're here to talk about basically is that in certain traditions, and hills are used for divination and seeking guidance from higher powers. Ecological significance of the ant hill. Soil aeration. Ants tunneling activities help aerate the soil, improving its fertility and promoting plant growth. You know, um, it's very, very vital for us to understand that no matter how difficult, no matter how tight, no matter how challenging it is, ants always have a way of doing things. And we all need each other to survive, you know. Uh, the plants need human beings. Human beings need the plants. The people on earth need the water. People in the water need the human beings. And vice versa. So, ants have a way of help, helping soil erosion. So that at the end of the day, you know, there's this crisscrossing of livelihood. Seed dispersal. Ants often carry seeds, contributing to the dispersion of dispersal of seeds and plant species. 
Ants have a way of moving from different different places to the other. By so doing, they go from point A. They carry ants from point A, uh, plant seeds or plants from point A to point B. You know, for, by so doing, now you now find out that uh, it's possible for a seed that was not supposed to do well in another soil could be transported to another place, and before you know it, it could grow very well. Now, ants also help pest in pest control. Ants prey on various insects, helping them to maintain ecological balance. Ecological balance is very, very impactful. And um, ants have actually uh, been seen as um, uh, agents. You know, they are, they are like the agent, they are like the catalyst that move, um, that, that move various insects, that, that, that help to maintain uh, this very strong ecological balance. In conclusion, and hills are more than just mounds of death. They are symbols of industry, unity, and divine connection. Inspiring us to work hard, cooperate with others, and speak, seek spiritual guidance. Their ecological significance further underscores their importance in maintaining a high level of ecosystem. Now, this is how far we'll be going. I hope you're able to pick one or two things on the significance of Anne Hills, a symbol of industry, unity, and divine connection. I remain Emmanuel Eyaba, your host, and I'll be coming your way again very, very soon. I want to urge you, if you really enjoyed this video, I want to go to the comment section, drop us a comment there, share this video, subscribe to our channel, like and share to someone, and if there's just anything you want to talk about in this channel, let us know. And guess what? We will talk about it. All right. Thank you and see you some other time. Bye-bye.